Welcome back. So this is our update for the first half of the week. Um, here you can see Zach is just working on uh, filling all the little holes that are in the leading edge of this thing because uh, when Jeff set it up he had to butter sort of the underneath and that creates air bubbles so uh, Zach has to go through and fill it a little bit tedious but it has to be done. And uh, this is also set up here all the material all the glass has been cut for that it just needs to be uh, wet down with resin to finish that mold. And here's the matching one for that one you just saw. So this one's now been released from the plug and it just needs to be cleaned off around the edges there. And then that one will be com complete. Although, yeah, actually it does also has to have uh, bracing put on there as well. But that's the last of the big wing skins now. Um, actually, apart from these upper ones that the guys are working on getting the plugs ready now. And so here, uh, guys have made a little bit more progress getting this foam ready to uh, put the carbon layer over the top of that one and uh, then we can move those um, plugs out the way and free up some more room in the shop. And here you can see Jeff's been working on getting the landing gear with the retraction mechanism in there and so he's just basically extending it there and then just lock it into over center so it's basically standing on that leg right now and the other one's also done as well so his next step is to start um, putting the rest of the retraction stuff in there for the hydraulics. Anyway, so uh, on to the wiring, and yeah, I've been doing more wiring on this. I was working on it over the weekend. I was actually uh, off yesterday to go and see the Eclipse, but I made up some time over the weekend by working on this on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, as you can see, I've got uh, stuff in there now for the side sticks. I've done the wiring um, for that with all the different pinouts. It's all hidden behind there, and this is the, um, the uh, pressurization controller, and then there's a transformer for that, so the wiring's all designed and laid out for that. And what else we got here? Um, yeah, the USB port. I've got uh, the two USB ports. Uh, you can see underneath. I've gone and uh, sorted out the wiring to that, and that all runs off to the vertical power unit for power. And one just sort of feeds on to the next one. So the next one down the back there. And as you can see, I've also done um, the wiring there for the uh, microphone and headphone jacks. And um, got that sort of sorted out and that's all hooked in through the audio the remote audio panel now and uh, somebody was making a comment about these uh, jacks they not being in a good spot you'll hit your knees on it. actually it's so wide in the aircraft there I very much doubt you'll hit your knees on there and if it becomes a problem we'll, we'll move them later on you know for production aircraft but generally you know the cable will just run next to the center console there and, and be completely out of the way you won't be hanging you won't get caught on it getting in and out of the aircraft it'll I think it's the, um, the best option. And so here, this is the unit, that's the um, audio panel unit, a remote one. And so I've got the connectors on the back of that and there's all the wiring uh, running off to the different headset um, plugs, for, you know, for microphone and headphones. And uh, what else we got here? I had to create a new uh, little bracket there um, to carry the wires across because uh, I didn't want to run it next to the other one that I had because that's got power running on it and uh, that would just create interference. So I'm keeping the two power and sort of, you know, audio and other stuff um, and data all separate um, as much as I can. And so there you can see I just highlighted the wires there or the cables there for the antennas, uh, GPS and nav and com, and they go up through this the bulkhead there and uh, then they'll run off to their respective antennas um, on that, you know, outside of the pressure vessel there through these connections there so I've got uh, four different ones there I'm not sure if we'll end up using the last one for ELT or we'll install the ELT uh, somewhere else but anyway I've just sort of placeholder for it there now and you see I've put another uh, block there for grounding so I can run these ground wires so for example the um, GMU 11 which is the magnetometer out on the uh, the tip of the foreplane there that needs a ground wire running to that so I basically just put that ground block there because there'll be a few other different um, things like the LED lights and things like that that'll have their own wiring running to it because you know being a composite aircraft you, you don't have the luxury of having the whole airframe as a ground. Uh, so anyway um, I'm actually getting pretty close to having most of the wiring all figured out now because I've sort of been going through uh, the manual and David who sent us uh, all the avionics here he's been helping me out and I feel like I've only I only need like a couple more days and I'll have it all defined uh, so then I can actually start um, building that platform for it and uh, mounting the units so that's uh, kind of exciting um, anyway uh, there's not really much else to tell you about that it's just keep plugging away and um, 
once it's all done I can uh, get onto the physical aspect of it. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week, so thanks again for watching.